Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop and today I'm just going to show you a quick little tutorial on the liquify filter. Uh, this is the photo I'm going to be working on and the first thing I'm going to do is just duplicate my background layer. Um, you always want to make sure that you duplicate, oh there we go, just so that you have um, your original underneath if you ever need to go back. So um, with your new layer selected, go to Filter, Liquify. Now this might be making my video mess up a little, it uses a lot of memory. But basically if you've never heard of Liquify before, it's a way to move the pixels of your image around and try to put them where you want them, if that makes some sense. Um, this up here, the first tool with the finger is called the Forward Warp Tool. This is my main tool that I use in Liquify. Um, you can pretty much do everything with this tool and um, there are some other ones I'll touch on shortly though. So. Um, the liquify tool basically um, you just it's a circle and inside um, where the cross is you can kind of move the pixels there so as you can see we can kind of like fluff the hair we can even you know stretch the hair out here add some shape like the winds blowing it um, you just kind of want to make sure that you don't move things with the edge of the circle. You want to make sure that you're moving with the center. So um, let's say we wanted to adjust her dress down here. You'd place the cross or the center of your circle right over the area you want to move and then just click and kind of drag it in. And the same way, um, you know, if you want to fluff it up, you just bring it out. Um, and you can make your brush bigger or smaller. I'm just doing this with the left and right bracket keys. Um, and you could you know just the possibilities are endless with this thing I like to use it for thinning myself but you know there's lots of possibilities you say here with the hair and um, you can do it for straightening lines you can do it for um, moving things in a background if your horizon isn't straight and you don't really want to straighten it with the, um, the straightening tool which can kind of crop your image a little bit you can try using this and just bringing the horizon down a little bit you just kinda of want to pay attention to the pixels that you're moving because sometimes they'll get squashed um, I'm just going to alt Control z those changes there. Um, another tool in here that you can use is the bloat tool. And the bloat tool is something that um, is kind of, I don't know, subjective, I guess. You put it over something. Um, sometimes I use it for eyes to make the eyes a little bit bigger. Uh, you put it over something and you hold your brush and it makes it bigger. Um, you don't necessarily want to make her arm bigger, but you can do this with anything. Um, if there's like a flower in the background, you kind of want to make it a little bit bigger. It's basically like a magnifying glass in a Photoshop tool. It just makes things larger. Um, the opposite is true for the pucker tool. This one is um, one that makes it smaller, so it makes things look, you know, thinner or farther away or um, yeah, just smaller in general, but those are um, the two other tools. I don't really like using those ones so much. They don't have as much control. Um, I, I generally just like to use the forward warp tool, but those are there as a possibility as well if you need them. Um, another quick little thing I just want to touch over is something that people who use Liquify don't really know a lot about. Um, so let's say here that I want to bring this little part of her dress in but I don't want to stretch or um, alter her arm armpit here in any way. Now if I were to use the forward warp tool alone, you can kind of do that, but you'd have to worry, you know, am I grabbing too much? Is it, you know, stretching things over there? So if you undo that, and sometimes this works for um, with other things better. This is probably not a, the greatest example, but I'm going to try here. Um, you can use your freeze mask. Now if you don't see these two tools over here, you want to hit advanced mode. Just make sure that's checked. Um, the first one is the freeze mask tool. And this one is where you would mask off anything that you don't want to move. You want to keep her armpit exactly the same. Um, it's very important to you that the armpit remains, you know, intact. So you'd want to just mask it off. Um, the eraser tool is if you want to remove that mask. Let's say you went over it a little bit too far and you just want to take a little bit off, you can do that there. Um, and then go ahead and use your forward warp tool and you can start moving the dress here. And then the armpit or whatever you have masked off stays um, completely free of your changes. And then you can just erase that off and see what you've done. 
And generally, you could just use the forward warp tool in this case, and you could kind of, you know, make it look um, as if the armpit wasn't bothered to begin with. But in some cases, you know, if you're trying to do something and it's really close to something else that you need to stay completely straight or, um, you know, completely unchanged, then it's really good to just mask it off with that freeze mask tool and then use your tools, um, your, use your forward warp tool to change um, whatever you needed to change to begin with. Um, so that's just a little quick tutorial on Liquify. Um, I hope it helps anyone who wasn't familiar with the tool. It's a great uh, tool to use. Just make sure that you use it sparingly. It doesn't always need to be used um, on every occasion. Um, you can also make sure that you know you have your original go to go back to in case you've made changes and you notice that your background has shifted due to your liquefying. You could also apply a layer mask here and then you can um, just kind of erase this new liquefied layer with this mask and bring back anything um, let's do hundred percent bring back any changes you know that you had you had wanted from the original so there's that um, if you have any questions you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography thanks so much and have a great day